II was a conflict that took various regions and countries in Europe to the brink of annihilation, and in some cases, total annihilation. Millions of lives were lost on both sides fighting this war. But this war was not restricted to Europe alone. The long reach of Hitler would cross the Atlantic Ocean and actually bring his war machine to a mere 50 miles off the United States' eastern coastline, and in many cases, much closer. As Germany's submarines, better known as U-boats, descended on the North Carolina coast, specifically the Ocracoke Islands, the U.S. Army Air Corps began assembling bomber crews, flying B-24 Liberators and other aircraft to patrol these areas. Between 1940 and 1943, and flying out of Bluefenthal Field in Wilmington, North Carolina, and Langley Field in Virginia, the 22nd and 4th anti-submarine squadrons came in constant contact with these German U-boats and their devastating deck guns that were deadly while they were surfaced and firing. However, in mid-1943, this patrol duty was delegated to the U.S. Navy, and the 22nd and 4th Squadrons were shipped overseas to England to team up with Britain's Royal Air Force for training in a special type of warfare. They would ultimately create one of the most elite and top secret all-American bomb groups of the war providing crucial aid to the French resistance deep behind enemy lines. Along with the rest of these gallant crews that flew these deadly missions, this is the story of a handful of these men, specifically Henry D. McMillan Jr. from the Wilmer L. Staple crew and the Robert L. Williams crew of the B-24 Liberator known as the Slightly Dangerous. And in January 1944, these reassembled squadrons would take to the night skies under the code name Operation Carpetbagger.